What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad. And on this episode, we're gonna be installing this wireless MIG tuning switch panel that you can uh, run wireless. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I have my 2023 Frontier Pro 4X and we're gonna be installing this MIG tuning eight gang switch panel, but it's actually wireless. This is the first of its kind. Well, I've never seen one of these before actually that's wireless. So. This doesn't have to be uh, wired all the way in to the engine compartment. It just talks from the engine compartment to this panel. So it should be a pretty fairly easy install. So here's the box. This is what it includes. Got some stickers. Got your manual. Got all kinds of stickers for your switch panel. This trash. Here is the module. It's gonna go inside the engine compartment. You got wiring, you got more wiring, you got more wiring. Actually, this is the antenna. This is gonna this is kind of the annoying part of it, is that you have to have this antenna so it can talk to the switch panel, but I think I know where I can put it inside the engine compartment. Even threw a screwdriver in there. The little uh, holder for the switch panel. We got some uh, brackets for this, I believe. Different ways of, of mounting it. Uh, we're not gonna be doing that. We're probably gonna be using this 3M adhesive tape. That does not, that's not included. I bought that myself. 60 amp. Oh, 60 amp. 60. Yeah. yeah, 60 amp. Fuse. And USB. C connection and a bunch of hardware. That's not it's like a breaker switch. Like a breaker switch, right? Yeah. Probably. We're at Jacob Shop. It's very nice when uh, manufacturers will send you a manual in full color, easy to read. There you have it. So it shows you the wiring diagram. Looks pretty simple. So let's get started, start wiring this thing up. So here is the wiring. We have the positive wire going into the fuse block and then another wire to the battery to the positive and then we have our negative wire that's going to go connect to the negative on the battery and then you have this connection right here that's going to be for the antenna that's going to communicate with the switch panel inside the truck so we got that ready let's go over here so i don't have many options to mount my switch panel so the switch panel fuse box so i'm going to be putting it right on top of the fuse box so before we do that we want to get some rubbing alcohol and clean the top here so rubbing alcohol helps with better adhesion to double-sided tape and the double-sided tape i got is an automotive 3m tape it's always held on really good it's really strong tape so we're going to be putting it on here and if i ever want to move it i can just take it off no problem as you can see, I have the 3M double-sided tape. It's ready to go. Let's go put it in the truck. All right, guys. Well, all the wiring is actually pretty much done. It was one of the most simple installs ever. We got the switch panel uh, fuse block here. As you can see, I already wired up these lights, these Squadron uh, Sports Baja design. I already had them on there, so it was just plug and play. Positive, negative, into a 20 amp. I think that should be good. So, have it all wired up to positive, negative. We have a light on there. And by the way, if you're gonna run it on battery mode, make sure you put it on the right switch to battery. If you're gonna run it through the fuse, um, put it on the ACC mode. But they recommend you run it just through the battery. So now the last step is basically get it pairing the switch panel itself. We'll see if it's already paired up or I got to pair it myself. So it's already pretty much paired. You, uh, I just, right now I have to charge it up. Again, it's USB-C, but what's nice is that it, while it's charging, you can still use it. So you can just plug it into your truck while it's charging, you can still use it. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see from here, but my ditch lights are on. And there's multiple uh, settings on here. It's just for the dim, the dimming, the backlight and switching the color. You can put it like on strobe mode. It's all these crazy things I'm not really interested. They're all in the manual. Let's see, just 
so you guys can see it. There's strobe mode, moment, momentary mode, bunch of things. Uh, but I'm not really interested. I just wanted to leave it on white, keep it simple. And what's nice is that you can just carry with this, carry this with you if you're on the outside of your truck, and you can control it. Kind of is nice. But this is basically going to stay inside the truck. I just like the fact that I don't have to run wiring through the firewall and do all that. It's pretty easy. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. It's very straightforward install. It took 30 minutes or less. Super simple to do. Um, what, Jacob? Anyways, uh, Jacob's over here bothering. If uh, there's any discounts or any codes or whatever, check down below. Uh, check MickTuning.com. Uh, I think that's the website. I'll put it down here. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.